Hello and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles where today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Redmond Toys David from the Lost Boys. So let's spin them around and take a closer look. All right, let's first go over the figure itself and then we will take a look at the accessories. Now he is a six scale figure, so he is 12 inches tall. We will look at this head sculpt first. There is a open mouth head sculpt as well. But this is done very well. And uh, I, I really like the paint app on it too. It looks really good. Now this is Supposedly, the sculpt is done by uh, um, Cult King, but uh, we won't get into that because that's a whole thing to dive into. We're just going to judge this figure on its own. And he is done very, very nice, especially at this price point. Uh, looking through here, I'm going to open up his jacket a bit. And obviously this is like a pleather uh, jacket. The only nitpick here would be that the jacket isn't really worn. Uh, in the movie, this was pretty worn out and faded, uh, which is something that I'll be doing uh, on my own. That's really kind of a disappointment, but not a big issue because again, I can fix it. Another thing too is these flaps don't sit right so I added a little bit of tape I've only I've spent a couple minutes with this guy trying to get him to look okay and pop his collar and stuff and I had to put some tape right on the inside of these guys to kind of get them to fold down lay lay a little bit more flat I'll, I'll end up futzing with it a bit more but um, that's it for now we're not going to go over the the uh, articulation here it's a standard uh, one six scale figure and we have standard movement here. I will say though that since this figure is on the cheaper side, the body is is cheaper too, and it has some loose joints in it, which is kind of unfortunate. But I mean, it has double jointed elbows and knees and all that stuff too. Uh, let's take a look at the this hand, which I have on here to hold the chopsticks but he comes with different ones. And then this is the hand that holds the Chinese food box. If I can get things in focus for you guys, it would be super helpful, right? And the adornments on the jacket are done nice. And really the stitching and stuff is, is also nice as well. We'll kind of open up to see his pants. Again, there's not much wear on here. And in, uh, in the movie, these weren't super worn, but they had some wear, so I'll add a little bit on here as well. And then here's a look at the boots. Of course, the bottom of them. And uh, I have like on mine, the, the uh, ankle joints are pretty loose. It's hard to hold, stand the figure up by himself he wants to kind of fall over, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, so we have them set aside, and let's start going through the accessories. And uh, one thing that's missing here is Redman Toys never includes a figure stand. So if you buy him and you want him standing up, uh, you're going to have to buy a stand, which can be had on eBay or whatever for very, very cheap. You can buy them in bulk for just like 10 bucks or whatever. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at the open mouth head sculpt. Which came out really well. Uh, again, I'm digging the paint jobs that they have on here. In the six scale world, this is a relatively inexpensive figure. But uh, the paint apps look really nice. 
The one drawback to having a mullet, besides it not being in fashion anymore, and I don't think it ever really truly was, unless you were Kiefer, is uh, you're limited on head movement here. With this coming down, you really are limited on the side to side movement. You can come down with it and up a little bit, but it really kind of, it crashes into the body a lot. So that's one drawback. Let's take a look at the Chinese food and the noodles inside. And this print job came out pretty nice. And then we will also look at the chopsticks. There's not much to see there. They're just chopsticks. Here is the bottle accessory which the paint app is is pretty nice on this and then let's take a look at the hands now this is the other gloved left hand And this is the other gloved right hand that would hold the bottle. And these attach via standard six scale figure attachments. They include a couple of extra joints in case you have breakage when you're swapping out hands, which is nice inclusion. Then we will take a look at the vampire hands, the open hands. which is a pretty good sculpt. Again, uh, Cult King sculpted this originally, and they did a great job with it. So I'm gonna give credit where credit is due as far as Cult King and their original sculpts for David. And he also has Feet. That look pretty cool too. I'm gonna take a look at the other foot. And that's really all there is to go over. What I will do is I will get him uh, in some quick poses. I'll do some swap out, head swap outs and stuff. So you guys can get an idea how he looks kind of set up. I won't spend a lot of time tweaking this stuff. You can spend a lot of time into figures as far as getting them to look right and getting them to look natural. Uh, I'm just going to do some quick stuff for you guys so you can make the decision if you want to buy the figure or not. I think he's badass. Uh, speaking on stands, here is just a cheap one that I get from eBay. It serves the purpose and uh, I have also ordered a six scale dirt bike for him as well, which I will probably use in the Detolf display. So let's get them set up. All right, guys, so that's about it on this figure. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on him. And uh, I'm also open to hearing how you guys would pose him. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave him like this for now, but uh, I do like the open mouth sculpt, so I need to find a cool way of incorporating that, but I'm probably gonna have to spend some time thinking about it. 
and I'm open to suggestions. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.